this assembly. Okay, so this assembly is important. But guys, this isn't where church occurs. Church occurs when we're talking to our severely depressed co-worker. Church occurs when our neighbor is going through a divorce and doesn't know where to turn. Church occurs when we leave this place and we go out and we're the light of Christ in the dark world around us. Church occurs whenever his called out assembly lives out of their purpose. Guys, that is what we're called to do. Yes, we come here. Yes, we get motivated. Yes, we get encouraged. Yes, we live life together. But guys, if this is the only place that is occurring, then we're missing this word ecclesia. We're not understanding what biblical church means. It's so much deeper and so much further than just coming here and doing a few things just like I did as a teenager. I despised going to church because it was a chore. It was a duty. I'd rather sleep in on Sunday morning. Man, you mean I have to miss the first half of of NFL Live? Are you kidding me? You know some of you think that. That's why y'all are so glad that we have a 9 o'clock service, because now you don't have to miss the first half of NFL Live. I know. I got you. Look at 1 Corinthians 12, 27. It says, all of you together are Christ's body, and each of you is a part of it. Guys, we are vital to what God wants to do in this broken world. I love this illustration that Scripture gives that we are the body of Christ. He gives this visual illustration of the body. See, guys, when a body is working uh, properly, it's a pretty effective thing. I can go one way, I can go another way. I can pick something up, I can do something, I can see, I can hear, I can taste. When a body is working properly, then it can be a very effective thing. Those in here who are born again believers, you don't just go to Bethel. You are Bethel. You are this church. You are what this called out assembly. You are what God has said. Guys, God, church doesn't just happen at 9 and 10 30. We come here at 9 and 10 30 and we worship together and we assemble together and we hear God's word together, but we cannot leave that here. Because then we're not the ecclesia. Then we're not the called out assembly. See, Jesus didn't just tell his disciples, hey guys, guess what? Meet me at this rock every Sunday at 10 o'clock. I'm gonna, we're going to sing a couple of songs. I'm going to teach you a couple of messages. And then we'll be done for the week. That's not what he did. He, the word is koinonia. He, he lived life with them. He lived fellowship with them. That's why our discipleship groups and these other things that we're trying to do is so important because to be the ecclesia, to be the church in this chaotic and hectic culture can get difficult at times. But we must remember we don't go to Bethel. We are Bethel. We are a part of what God is doing here. <clears throat> 